My name is Bombo. This channel is about solving everyday problems. Today's problem is mounting bicycle racks and a cargo rack on the back of your pickup truck, even if you have tonneau covers or bed covers. If you have one of those bike racks that mounts on your trailer hitch, I know you have this problem. Additionally, they move a lot when you hit bumps. I feel like they're flimsy and disables your backup camera. Not to mention you lose the ability to attach a trailer. I did watch plenty of YouTube videos to gain some inspiration to create this one, this project. Just so it's clear, I have tested this project myself when we moved from Seattle to Chicago. This project held very well in over 2,000 miles of travel from the Pacific Northwest to the Midwest. Over five days of driving and still, you know, I rock these bad boys today. Just so you know, this will not work though if you have one of those retractable bed covers. I have the trifold hard bed covers and it worked perfectly for me. Disclaimer though, this requires you to drill holes in your truck bed. So if you don't want to drill holes in your truck bed, then this video is probably not for you. However, I encourage you to still watch this video because I also didn't want to drill holes in my truck bed. But this DIY project went really well for me. I will guide you through the process so when you do decide to drill holes, you'll do it right the first time, hopefully. The bike racks I am using are inexpensive and I have gotten them from Amazon. They come with locks, which actually works very well, uh, surprisingly because of the price. Once they are locked, you can't turn them loose, it will just keep turning. Finally, the crossbars. Man, I love these things. These bars are solid and I got it from Amazon. The width of these bars they're adjustable so it will fit most full-size trucks. I do recommend that you measure the width of your truck though just to make sure. The measurement of these bars is available on Amazon when you review the product. I will link all these products I have used in the description below so you can review them for your reference. The roof rack I have is called Tiger, also from Amazon. However, just to let you know, I did not get this from Amazon because I found a good deal on OfferUp from someone, so I did get this cargo rack used. However, you can still find them on Amazon. Now you'll have to replace some hardware from both the bike racks and the roof racks because of the thickness of the crossbars. So what I did, I took the screws and the U-bars that came with the bike racks and the roof rack to my local hardware store and bought the size that accommodated the crossbars. Basically, I needed longer screws and wider U-bolts that came with the racks. You will know what I'm talking about when you buy these racks. So the first thing you'll have to do is to measure your desired distance from the front end of your bicycle tires and the rear window of your truck. This step is crucial, I mean vital. This will prevent you from making a mistake of drilling holes in the wrong spot in your beloved truck. Also mark where the rear tire will sit on your truck. The easiest way I found was to place my bicycle on the bed rails and back it up some more so I'll have maximum distance that I can have from the front wheel of my bicycle and the rear window of my truck. Now that you have identified the measurements, now it's time to drill holes. On the bed rails of your truck, you'll see grooves. You will want to drill here, not here, here. Make sure you measure both sides and mark it with a Sharpie. Always remember to measure twice and drill once. Now it's time to mount the brackets. It should look like this. Then install the bars. These bars mount with pins instead of screws, which makes it easy to remove so you will have full access to your truck bed if you have to haul large items. I did install the cargo rack first in the middle which gave me plenty of space to install the bike racks on each side. Now if you don't intend to install a cargo rack, then you'll have more room for more bicycles. Looks like you can fit at least 4 bicycles without the rack.
Now let's load the bike. I think some of you will benefit from this video because I was once backing out from a parking spot and some guy was waving and he was trying to talk to me so I stopped and see what he wanted. Actually he just wanted to know how I did my setup because he too was also looking for a while and couldn't find anything like this. If you do your research, most bike racks that can be mounted on a truck cover costs upward to almost $1,000. So the entire project though ran me less than 300 bucks since I bought the roof rack used on OfferUp. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like icon and consider subscribing. I put videos up every time I come across a problem and find some kind of a solution from a regular guy. So if you have time, check out some of my other videos. Thanks for watching.